Don't freak out guys, trust me. This is really hard to do with a coat. All right, so today we're gonna be doing Demi Lovato. I feel like her song, I Love Me, is such an important song. I relate to it so much. Like, if I could play it, if there was no copyright, trust me, I would play it for you because she's basically just saying that like, it's her time, like, it's her time for her, like, and I resonate with that so much and I'm sure so many of you other beautiful people out there do because like we're so fixated on other people loving us or trying to fix something or trying to make something work that we try to like we forget about ourselves then we kind of lose ourselves and then we're stuck in this little debacle shall I say so like I really felt empowered by it and I still do and I love her and I know she has had a rough patch but I am like so proud of her because she soldiered through and thank god she made a recovery and everything amazing so yay Demi <laughs> all right so let's get into the video what should I start with first hmm. I think I need to start with my eyes because I uh, yeah let's start with my eyes my skin needs a little break for a second I'm gonna put cream on and then I'm gonna zoom you in and let's get started hey my lovelies okay I'm back so I'm using, okay, hold on. What am I using? I am using my new favorite concealer, primer or whatever for the eyelids. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm obsessed with this product. I honestly like haven't found anything like it. It's so creamy. It doesn't really crease. And the product is like incredible. It sticks on it like, oh, it's just great. I've never seen anything like this before. I can't wait till they release the other shades. And it like literally just cancels everything. Like you don't even see that pink I had. It's so full coverage. <gasps> I feel like it's sold out. So I'm so sorry if it is, it should be coming back in stock very soon. <laughs> okay, somehow I have lost the brush that I was using before. So I'm so sorry. I have to use a different brush, but and I'm really upset because it was like the best brush for it. I don't know where it went. Anyway, I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. This I just felt like was perfect for this look. So I'm gonna firstly, oh my hair, gonna go in with Access and then Girl Trip and then Clown. And then we're gonna go in with these two brown shades, but let's go in with those three shades first. I'm literally just going in with those, th those three on my brush. And then I'm gonna just start by packing that on the lid. Demi has a lot of lid space. I have more eyelid than lid space. You know what I mean? I hope that made sense. I don't know. <laughs> I did. And then when I do whatever's left on the brush, I kind of am just gonna very messily blend that there. Just like that. All right. I think that's quite good if you want to go back in with coin and girl trip just go back in and pat that all over your lid now what we're gonna do the little star of the night today we're going in with in light by Danessa Micros. now this is like no joke when I tell you like everything so I'm taking this on the brush now it looks like she had like a dewy do you just see what happened like did you just see that I don't know if you did it's like just going in a little bit and packing that on. Then I just take that and kind of spread that all along the lid because it did look like her whole lid was glittery, but it was just that brow bone that caught my eye to a new level. Now I'm going in with those two brown shades that we spoke about, Prowl and Smooth Criminal. Taking this on the back of that brush and I'm just going to very lightly like kind of carve and bring that out because it did look like she had a like a schnixel of a wixel you know what i mean i really hope that makes some sense <laughs> so in sad news um in where i live there has been 29 i believe cases of the coronavirus and it's quite sad because i thought sydney was finally like you know doing better and we're getting out of this but i honestly don't know anymore i feel like i have to be so cautious i just i'm more afraid of, like also i'm afraid of getting it but i'm more afraid of passing it on to anyone i don't ever want to do that so um i have to be very cautious 
and yeah it's just a bit scary because sometimes like I feel like you don't really ever expect it to come so close to where you live and then it does and you're like oh my gosh this is like so real you know so I just want everyone to stay safe and yeah sending sending my love to everyone out there please um, be careful because I'm even a bit worried now to go to the gym to be honest because I don't even want to risk anything happening now I'm going in with this essence 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 liquid ink I'm just taking I'm actually gonna use this because I'm not doing a complete wing I'm just going over my line just start by going over your lash line and then you can thicken it as you please I just feel like it's always easier to do a thin layer versus go crazy Alrighty, so I'm just gonna pop two little individual lashes on the side and then I will be right back so we can finish our face. Alrighty, I am back. I painted my nails <laughs> and yeah, I did a few errands. My battery died. I'm so sorry. So let's go to the face. I also want to say I put the Inglot 68 um, in my waterline because I'm pretty sure she had like a whitish color i'm gonna say like a nudish whitish color so now i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty um foundation on my skin it looks like her skin's a little bit dewy but not too much so i thought i'd use that because i oh, really like it so i'm gonna just pop that on i feel like i can't wait to have one of my own mirrors i'm gonna like dazzle the snazzle out of it you know me, you know I'm a bit little bougie. Who cares? So I'm actually going to be taking my Real Techniques brush. I really like this because it's very dense. I don't know if it's the camera or what, but it makes me look orange. So I'm just going in with my Too Faced Concealer. A funny little story that I just thought I'd share with you is the reason I only have one earring is I had two. But um, what happened was I didn't realize that I was putting in my earring. So I kind of snapped off the part where the hole goes. So I'm going to try super gluing it. If not, I'm going to have to buy another one. Because these are really nice earrings. And then I realized what I had done and I was like, wow, Jess. Wow. Like, I don't even know how I wasn't even paying attention. It was just bizarre. I'm just going to blend this out with my Anne Hazarati E01 brush and I'm just going in and patting that down. When I get here, I'm just kind of like blending it down as well. I want to have that like lifted effect. If you guys want to watch my how to have no creasing video, make sure to go up above I'll tag it for you it is a really great technique and I highly recommend it especially if you're new to makeup or you're not too sure or you get creasing a lot more than usual I totally think you should watch it because it's real it's real stuff you know what I mean this is really hard to do with a coat. I'm just going to go in with my Ilan Mascua powder in PF200. Just going to use that to dab under my eyes. I'm not going to really put powder anywhere else other than here. I'm going to go in with the bronzer Fenty Beauty. Coco Deep. This is a really nice shade. Just taking this on a big Morphe brush. And I'm just gonna like, it looked like it was just kind of like up here. So remember our method that we like to do? Pat and very lightly blend. Alrighty, we are looking bronzy and I like it. So now I'm actually gonna go back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going in with this yellow shade. This is called Access. Don't freak out, guys. Trust me. And I'm going to put a little bit there. 
because it just looks like she's got like a little bit of yellow orange tinge to her just a little bit do you can you like just see how it pops through i think it's yeah it's such a vibe and then i love going back in with my foundation brush and i use this to kind of blend everything together So now I'm going in with the Huda Beauty 3D palette and I'm going in with Maldives. It's just a gorgeous glow because she does have a glow, obviously. And I'm just going to like put that kind of everywhere because it looks like she just had this beautiful radiance. <laughs> and because I just want a little extra glow. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezi one. Same brush. But this time I'm just going to focus that part just here and on my nose. I'm going in with this Metrone Palm Powder Puff. And I just like to stamp everything. I think it makes a huge difference. I don't know if you can already see. It just kind of like makes sure everything's in check. Now I am going to go in with the Sephora Red 01. Um, it does look like she has a pinky tinge. So I am going to go in with a gloss after. And it's going to pop that all over my lips. So I still want that pinky shine, so I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth. And I'm going to just... Now we're not quite finished. Just to finish off this look, I'm going back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going back in with Prowl and Smooth Criminal. And I'm just putting that right under my eye. I already feel like Demi. Yes. I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes. I know you probably won't even be able to see them, but YOLO. I swear, every time I'm doing my bottom lashes and I watch my recording, I'm like, what is that face? But like I make the weirdest faces and I'm really trying to make like a normal face right now. But like either my tongue's out or yeah, see, I can't, cannot, it's impossible. So last but not least, I'm going in with Crystal. I'm just going to put that. This is by Janessa Micros. I will have everything tagged in the description. I'm going to just put that right here. And a bit at the top. This is just going to give like a really nice wet. Do you feel like? I hope you can see. This is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't mind this E. Um, I really did actually enjoy making this look. It's very wet, cute, sexy. Very like for Demi. I love her. So props to you girl. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really thought it'd be fun to recreate it because it's such a pretty look. I love red lipstick. So I don't know if you would know that by now, <laughs> but I do. And yeah, if you guys want me to recreate anything else or want to say something specific, just leave me a comment in the description box and I will make sure to do that for you. And I hope you all have an amazing, amazing day. Make sure to not, make sure to not, <laughs> make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to watch more videos and make sure to hit that little ding so you get notified every time I upload, which is every Monday, Tuesday, no, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, babies. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Okay? Okay. Anyway, thank you so much. I love you all. And have an amazing day. Bye.